Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create curves in other software, which we can then bring into Maya uh, to use as NURBS curves in our projects. So the first technique we'll look at is using the text tool in Photoshop. Uh, I'll select the text tool and write out some text here. Of course, I can, within uh, Photoshop, change the size, change the font, and so on. And here I have my text. Now, if I want to bring this in as NURBS curves, or if I want to bring it in as curves into Maya, which then I can use as NURBS curves, uh, what I will do is right click on the layer on the text layer here in Photoshop and I will convert it to shape. I'll now export out with this layer selected go to file export paths to illustrator We'll give it a name, and we'll go into Maya and check it out. So here we are in Maya now, and what I will do is go to File, Import, navigating to where my um, file is that I exported out from Photoshop. In this case, it's right here, and it's called Sample Text. And I'll import that in. And here you will see that I have some NURBS curves now that I can work with in Maya. Returning to Photoshop, we'll take a look at another way that we can create some curves to bring into Maya. And this time, we'll be taking a look at Photoshop's pen tool. So if I select the pen tool here, uh, very similar to the Bezier tool in, uh, in Maya, we can draw any shape we want using these Bezier handles here. So you can see that I have this irregular shape here, but we could use this tool for actually drawing something if we wanted. Uh, once again, I'm in the layer and I'll simply go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator, and export it, it, it as well. And the final method that we'll take a look at will involve this tool here. With this tool, I can create all sorts of different shapes. Uh, but we also have the option of using the custom shape tool. And then here, you'll find that you have a number of different options that you can choose from. Leaf trees, wild animals, boats, and so on. Uh, we'll pick a wild animal. I'm going to select the rhinoceros. And I'll drop that in there. Once again, with my layer selected, I'll simply go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator, 
and we'll give it a name. Let's return to Maya. So here we are back in, in Maya, and we'll go ahead and import those other two curves that we created in Photoshop. So I'll go to File, Import, and we'll take a look at the irregular shape I created earlier. Import that in. Here it is. If I press 3, it'll look a little smoother. Uh, you can see I can still come in here and adjust it. It's got all the same uh, components that uh, NURBS curve that we create in Maya has. Uh, and finally, let's take a look at that last example. So I'll import that in as well. File Import, select it, and here it is. And of course, uh, with these various NURBS uh, curves, they're now NURBS curves, uh, curves in here in Maya, uh, we can do all that other stuff that we've been looking at in the previous videos, such as attaching a brush stroke to it, adjusting the brush stroke, and so on to create things like neon signs and other effects. So I hope that this video was useful for you and thank you for watching.